Now Iraq is back to the news now because of the recent insurgency. Uh, my paper actually is looking at uh, this insurgency back to several years ago. Uh, and my paper basically evaluates three different kind of counterinsurgency strategies and see how, whether they work very well. The counterinsurgency uh, policy that I'm looking at would be first, the troop surge increase the number of troops on ground. Second, development uh, pol policy, uh, development projects uh, in district level, for example, education and infrastructure. The third one would be the uh, tribal strategies that uh, basically uh, local tribes cooperate with the U.S. military. Uh, my paper take a new approach to look at the problem. Uh, my data that, uh, the data that I use cover more than 100 districts across Iraq and uh, between uh, 2004 and 2009, shortly after the invasions. Uh, I think one of the problems in previous research is they make a too restrictive assumption, saying that there's no like, balloon squeezing effect. So in a way that uh, when there's a counterinsurgency in one district, it has no effect at all on the other district, but we know that it's probably untrue because if you hit the, the insurgents one in one place, they will simply move to other districts. So in a way, my paper is try to relax these assumptions. Uh, one policy implication from my research is uh, now the U.S. considered to have a strong threat in Iraq. And my research suggests that it is very likely to produce similar kind of side effect. So in a way that they simply drove insurgents to spread across Iraq. In terms of the ethnic card that like, cooperate with local tribes, uh, my research basically found that it doesn't have a very obvious effect. Uh, it could be very effective in enhance the local security situation, but in another hand, on the other hand, it doesn't uh, eradicate terrorism. What I found it most likely to be effective to reduce the level of violence in Iraq would be uh, having development programs and then with the troop search, but on the other hand, not playing any ethnic card. So uh, I think in general, it would be good for the U.S. military and also the Iraqi government to look at the research uh, by the international organizations, uh, for example, the U.N.